Hi, in this video, I'll be showing you or demonstrating about the service now list. So now on the main content frame on the right, so this is a um, service now list, right? So depending on the module that you have chosen, so let us go to a incident, right? And as you navigate down to the left, right? So you go to under the um, incident module, right? And as you click the open, so what it's saying is you get to open all the incidents which are open, right? And on the right, it will appear all the open incidents under the incident module. So you could basically go to a list which is assigned to me, right? And there is nothing at the moment. So they are basically filters, right? Under the incident module. And if you go to all, right, then it will show all uh, the list, it could be an open or a close, depending on its states, right? So if you go back to the open, right? So you will see um, all active is true, right? So you can only configure that, right? If you go to this some um, funnel icon, right? And you could also configure, right, uh, yourself. So now it's all active is true, right? So let's say you need, you want to add more filters, and let's say this is priority, you're looking for something and you go to the, the the field and you go to the operator and and the keyword, right? So so let's say you want to have all the panning only and you need to run it, right? So once after you run it, then it will filter out accordingly. And as you see, this box is here, right? Uh, the gray highlighted boxes. Right, and the second row, which I'm highlighting right now, it automatically provides a filter, right? So it means you can go direct. You can go direct, right? So so let's say um, under the number, right? So uh, if you use asterisk, so anything that contains, let's say five, right? So any presenter, right? So what's going to happen? All the incident numbers, right? Um, with priority planning, and active is true is what's going to appear to your list. So as you can see here uh, on your filters, if I click that, I can the uh, funnel icon. So automatically ServiceNow does the um, uh, conditions for you, right? So depending on how you would like to do it, you could uh, do it using the funnel, right? And you could also um, um, do it over these um, boxes here, right? So let's just take out um, some and, and and go back to the original where active is true. So you could also right click, right, right click on, let's say the color, let's say right click and show matching or filter out, right? So if you filter out, so basically you're taking out all the names, which is under guest, right? So so basically I, I want you to um, get your hands dirty, right? Get yourself familiar, right? On how it works, right? So um, a few more tips, right? So you could, um, uh, go to this um three dotted buttons depending on the column you can configure right or export or import let's see you could export um or you could import an xml depending on the use case and you can also do a sort right on the list right and lastly right so um as you go and filter right uh, let's say let's have a, a filter again let's click a funnel Right, so let's go back to all active, it's true. Let's run it. After running, you could save this view, right? Save it, right? After you save it, right? So it will come out and save as active. What's the name of the view? After saving it, it will come out on this hamburger menu. And these are the different views available uh, for you. So you could filter out and, and depending on the purpose of your uh, configuration. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the um, um, short demonstration. I'll see you on the next video.